extreme weather events, occurrences that are rare at a particular place and time of year. While there is no official definition from India, the IMD classifies lightning and thunderstorms, landslides and floods, cold waves, heat waves, cyclones, snowfall, dust and sandstorms, squalls, hailstorms and gales as extreme weather events. The Centre for Science and Environment, along with Down to Earth magazine, attempts to build an evidence base on India's frequency and expanding the geography of extreme weather events. India recorded extreme weather events on 241 of the 273 days from January 1st to September 30th, 2022. This means that close to 90% of the first nine months of this year, India had an extreme weather event breaking in one or more parts of the country. These disasters have claimed 2,755 lives, affected 1.8 million hectares of crop area, destroyed over 416,667 houses and killed close to 70,000 livestock. This weather report card is extremely important because it articulates the extreme events and how these will lead to cumulative and extensive damage. It strongly justifies the fact that we need systems to better account for the losses so that climate change and its impacts have the human face of its victims. Let's break this down further and analyze the events season-wise. Winter, the first two months, experienced an extreme weather event on 39 out of 59 days. The 39 days were mostly marked with cold wave or storms. Uttar Pradesh was the worst hit, followed by Madhya Pradesh. Pre-monsoon, unusually hot March and April led to the early onset of heat waves this year. India experienced extreme weather events on 81 out of 92 days in these months. In May, heavy rainfall triggered floods in Assam and Meghalaya. Rajasthan and Assam were the worst hit with extreme weather events on 36 days. Monsoon. In the next four months, extreme weather events were reported on all 122 days. Heavy rains and floods occupied most of the 122 days, with floods in Rajasthan and Maharashtra and similar events in central and southern states. In this period, 2,400 lives were lost. 1.8 million hectares of crop area was damaged and 0.4 million homes were destroyed. Even if we analyse this region-wise, all regions have been affected. The central region and northwest region recorded the highest number of days, 198 and 195 respectively, of extreme weather events. The South Peninsula region recorded the least number of extreme weather event days. However, this is still a very high count of days. South Peninsula region, on the other hand, has recorded maximum crop damage. The East and Northeast region recorded maximum house destruction and animal deaths. All Indian states are significantly climate vulnerable and the gap between the least vulnerable state and the most vulnerable state is small. Yet robust data on extreme weather events, which are increasing in frequency and intensity due to climate change, is not available publicly. CSE and Down to Earth has collated this data and laid out the accounts season by season, month by month, and region by region. For more information on that, please visit our website and click on this link. Also, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.